At 5 a.m., it just looked like any other full moon. But people were already gathering at the beach, cameras ready to go, hoping to see something they've never seen before. I'm definitely hoping to get some really nice shots on the camera so that way, you know, I can definitely put them out there so that way the world can see. St. Pete College astronomy professor Antonio Paris encouraged his students to come out so they could see this rare event in person. Was it worth getting up early? Oh, for sure, definitely. I mean, we do get 50 extra credit points, but I came here really just, just to see the moon. So just how rare is a super blue blood moon? The last time it happened in this area was in 1866, which is uh, right after the Civil War ended. So um, and this, for us, this is basically one, it is once in a blue moon lifetime event. By 6.30 a.m., as more people showed up with their cameras, you could tell something special was about to happen. Then, at 6.48, it started, a lunar eclipse. The sky became lighter and the moon became darker as it passed directly behind Earth into its shadow. In a little more than 20 minutes, the spectacle ended as a new day began. In Clearwater Beach, Jenny Dean, 10 News.